There she is. The beast, the legend. Call your recce vehicle slash maintenance. Hey, Ben, get out of the way. Ah, oh, here we go. It's Friday again. The magical day of the week. Almost as good as Saturday. Hey, you live it better than Sunday. I don't know. Anyway, it's the 14th of, I was going to say February, 14th of August, 2015. Jeez, another two weeks would be uh, September. Jeez, it, it seems like the summer went really fast. Mostly because it's been chilly, so it didn't really feel like summer. It felt more like spring or fall. But hopefully we'll get a good fall and that'll be all, all uh, established out. So the, uh, the beer we have today, and I'm having uh, my glass... Instead of my usual Russian space agency, I decided to do uh, a kill candy glass. Not because I have Irish beer, just just because. This is called Top Shelf Classic Lager, official beer of the NHL Alumni Association. Brewed bottle in Baysville, Ontario. Handcrafted and small. 473 milliliters, 4.5% volume. Lake of Bays Brewing Company. You're using only the finest. Noble hops and can Canadian malt, this crisp and refreshing American style lager aims aims high, aims something and scores big. So there it is, top shelf. Maybe I'll be able to operate after I drink this. Unlike some of the beers I had before. Lately I should say, that's what I wanted to say. And a mosquito. A black flag. Probably a no see him. Top shelf. Of course, top shelf means uh, you shoot the uh, puck high over the goalie's shoulder, I believe. I don't know. In my career, I never scored a goal. Hardly even ever in practice. But I did get assists. That's all right, isn't it? It's hot. It's about 25, 24, 25, which is hot for this summer. <laughs> Good thing about this deck is it's out of the sun, but it, uh, the bad thing about it is the prevailing winds come from back that way, northwest, and I don't get much of a breeze out here in the deck unless I brought a fan out. And kind, of, kind of seems rather silly. What I've done before is just taken a lawn chair out underneath the old birch tree and got in the shade and got. Uh, what was that other thing? Oh, in the wind. <laughs> it all scrunched up today. I don't know what it is. I have to cut some grass after this. I don't have to, but I might try. So, top shelf. Hmm. Smells more, more better than uh, Canadian or blood or anything. It's got a more smell to it. Not overly with the hops, but maybe with the malt. Canadian malt. Yeah. So let's have a, a slurp, shall we? Woo! It's cold. Hmm. It goes down smooth. There's no afterburn or anything like that. I kind of got a hit of some flowery taste or smell when I was doing that. Let's have a small sip again. Nope. Must have been just some other odor emanating around here. Ben. So my brother Aaron came back to Cape Britain yesterday. I'll probably go in uh, Sunday, spend the night with my parents, and then uh, Monday I'm driving them over to the uh, Moncton Airport. And then I'm beating up with my buddy Kevin, and we're going to uh, spend the night in Moncton. we got a couple of hotel rooms, and we're going to eat till we can eat no more. <laughs> yeah, there's a charcutier 
place in Moncton that we want to try. It's, it's got all kinds of smoked fish and smoked meat and stuff like that. I think that's what charcuterie means. I just got a new book on it, actually. I should know these things. Or we'll just go to a uh, pub and eat pub food. I'm kind of sick of it, though. Not that I eat a lot of pub food. It's just, you know, it's... I just think it's the same stuff they, they sell in one store or they sell in another pub, you know? Frozen stuff that's quickly made. Da, da, da. I want some fresh stuff instead. Yeah. In the packet the other day, I already opened it up. It's got some Russian coins in it. Yeah, these are not Iron Crosses. German Army. These are Russian. They're all reproductions, but they're kind of neat. A 12 ruble coins on the bottom, and I, I'm, I can't really remember what the, the crosses are for, but they're another coin that they used back in the 1800s or so. Oh, and two more. Two more square coins. Is that even possible to have square coins? 1726. 1726. These are copies. So not the real thing, so they weren't very expensive. Eighteen thirty eight Russian twelve rubles. That's the two round coins. A copper coin, I think, are the two square ones. And there's two different types of the crosses there. It doesn't say what year they are. Oh, 1807 and something else. Anyway, I guess I'll put them in my coin book, which I haven't started up yet. <laughs> but it's just a big binder and it's got all kinds of uh, inserts that hold uh, it will bite no one no more mosquito little pockets to put coins in and stuff I really should uh, get out it's one of those things that I save for a rainy day and then on a rainy day I find uh, something else to do and uh, I got something else today mm -hmm. it's from Amazon so I believe it's a book of some sort oh. I'm going to cut it in half. Oh! It's the second of Dave Canterbury's field guides. This is Advanced Bushcraft. And I have the first one, which is Basic Bushcraft. So this just delves into more stuff to uh, make your bushcraft stay a lot better. New York Times best-selling author of Bushcraft 101. So there's Bushcraft 101, and then there's Advanced Bushcraft. I haven't really looked at the other one. I haven't been doing a lot of reading lately, actually, except for uh, puzzles. Crossword puzzles, I like doing them. I think they make me smarter, somehow. I don't know. Uh, I got my new flags here, and the rest of them are all up there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was 20. One must be behind the fridge or behind the barbecue. Hmm. Is Russia up there? Yeah, Russia's up there. About uh, quite a while ago, three weeks ago or so, I was complaining about Bell Internet Service, and uh, by gum, since then, it's been really good. However, uh, for the last three days, it's not been good. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. Just rubbish, anyway. So I hope they fix whatever the hell's wrong, and I can get back to uh, some serious surfing of... Uh, uh, of uh, the things I'm searching for. Searching. Searching and surfing. There you go. God, there must be booze in that. Cheers. I don't know if I told you, but we're thinking about going to see Billy Connolly, the Scottish comedian, in October 19th and 20th. It's 
two nights in Halifax. The tickets would have cost for two tickets uh, four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I guess only the expensive seats were left, and that was down in row A, center. So you're right there, looking up at old Billy Connolly from an angle you probably don't want to look at Billy Connolly at. So we decided that uh, for four hundred and fifty dollars, we can either meet at his place or meet over here and have a grand old party. There you go. It's my birthday in two weeks, 5th September, I believe Kevin's is the 9th, Jamie up the road is the 7th, so we should have a bit of a bash here and spend those $450 on lobster and, well, booze, maybe a slice of bread each just to keep us going, <laughs> seafood, yeah, I think that'd be a good idea, better than spend Plus, we'd have to spend uh, money on hotels and meals for the day, two days we were there. So, it just never uh, worked out. I've been told, I showed this on Wednesday, this little silver coin with the Royal Canadian Dragoons hat badge in it. And it says in the back, the Royal Canadian Dragoons, Canada. I guess they were made kind of a memento thing, save up silver or something like that. Apparently not made by the regiment, so uh, so it's going to be a neat addition to the old uh, coin book whenever I get around to that with the fake uh, Russian stuff. I didn't start my timer this time. Am I over 15 minutes yet? Is anybody keeping track of that? Ben! Are you keeping track of that? You're chewing on a golf ball. You don't play golf. <laughs> Cheers again. Ah, I hope the weather's good for you in your part of the world, whether it's in Australia, Russia, or United States of America. And it certainly is going to be nice here over the weekend. And there's still a lot of tourists down here. I think there's something like three tourists for every islander. That's what you see in the road. The tourists are always driving around looking for something. And usually they find it in some kind of expensive shop. But, you know... What the heck? You're on the island. You must do that stuff. So, I'm going to sit here and burp out this uh, beer, I'm sure, and then I get to work uh, cutting the grass down over there with the new uh, vehicle and dream up ways to make it more army-ish. Like I should paint the red flag green or gray or something like that to make it uber tactical. Uh, i got to mount some stuff on the top and uh, mount one of these this one, I guess, on the hood, so I can act like, uh, what's his name in the bridge too far when he's looking for the captain? He's got a Jeep with a M1 carbine on the top. Remember that line? He says, where's the captain? And the young fellow says, he's dead. I didn't ask you how he was, I asked you where he was. Go back. <laughs> I... Oh, I got a new Pelican too. It's a plastic one, and it's not CO2. It's just, just like that. It shoots about 250 feet per second. It's a Daisy power line, and of course, I got this at Princess Auto, I believe, for about 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, if the police ever raid this place, <laughs> they're gonna go home with tiny little uh, red marks on their skin and stuff. From all my BB guns and airsoft guns. But you don't know they're not real. And neither were the bad guys. If the bad guys, I shouldn't say the police raid me. If the bad guys come, then I'll shoot them at. Them. Yeah. That's like bringing a toy to a gunfight. Anyway, that's it. I'm starting to babble on, which is never a good thing. And uh, another good weekend. Uh, thanks for dropping by. And you have yourselves a safe weekend out there in your part of the world. Chris.